Welcome back to the Snake Pit. Today we're going to be going over the jab. It's a very simple striking technique. Boxers use it, all forms of martial arts use it. Lead hand, jab. Now, first simple things you need we need to go over. First of all, our footwork. In here we fight, if you're right handed, put your right foot forward. Have our strong side toward. Uh, boxers, you'll see them, they're right handed, their dominant hand being in the back. And this jab, they'll use, they'll use it as a filler. They'll see how their opponent moves. And then they'll rely on this big cross for a big knockout punch. But uh, in Jeet Kune Do, Bruce Lee's martial art, he trained right side forward, and that's how we come to train in Kimpo Jiu Jitsu. Uh, strong side forward. Now your jab is going to have it's going to have a little pepper to it. It's going to have a little, a little fill it. Then your cross is still going to be a knockout punch because you're going to have all your body weight coming into it. We'll get into the cross on another video. Right now, just the jab. So strong side forward. We well, got a good strong jab. Still, it's a good strong cross. You got two good hits. Okay, that's our footwork. Right foot forward, we went over the neutral bow or our fighting stance in a previous video. Uh, before you start doing this jab, if you haven't seen that video, go back, watch it, get a good feel. Uh, now, when we strike, a lot of martial arts, they'll strike, and they'll turn this all the way over in a horizontal fist. In here, vertical or three-quarter turn. Why? because it's more natural. When you twist it all the way over here, it's a skeletally incorrect. All your bones are all twisted. Right here, it's all nice and straight. It's sturdy, it's firm. Three quarter turn or vertical. Three quarter turn is just like you're driving a car. Hands at 10 and two. Now, when you do throw it, you don't hyper extend your elbow. You don't want to Get in the, you don't want to get in the habit even if you're out here shadow boxing. You're not hitting nothing. You don't want to straighten this thing all the way out. Too much force, the cell will pop up, hyper extend. This thing will hurt you for weeks. Trust me, I've done it. Back a long time ago. All right. So very simple. <clears throat> Neutral bow. Now you want to relax when you're up here in your fighting stance. Hands relaxed. When you throw this thing out here, you want to relax. You're going to tighten up right here to the point of impact. Then you're going to pull it back. Relax as you pull it back. If you throw this thing out here at 100 miles an hour, it should come back at 200. That's where you get that snappy effect. Alright. Another little fine point. We don't want to push the bag. I see a lot of people do this. They want to, They think if this bag moves a lot, that looks good on them. It's just like hitting a person. You don't want to, you know, this don't do nothing. It just looks good. If I had a person here I could show you, you can push like a push. When you push somebody, I could push them, they could fly back 20 foot. It would look really good. Now if you push them with force, that's where you're going to get internal damage. They're not going to move much, but it's going to hurt more. Same thing with this punch. You want to punch about 4 inches past your target. I'm aiming right here where this says Everlast. <clears throat> I don't want to pull it back right here. About four inches past. That's where you want that snap to come in. So basically, if I'm aiming for somebody's nose, I'm not going to hit them right here. I'm going to hit them right back here. But go through their nose to get there. That's where you get that snappiness. <clears throat> Just a piece of cake. Just keep in mind those fine little things. Vertical, three-quarter turn. Don't hyperextend the elbow. <clears throat> and make it snappy. We want speed. Uh, get the speed, the pain will follow. Uh, you'll hear it a lot. Uh, slow is smooth, smooth is fast. And what that basically boils down to, just like in this technique, don't worry about going super fast all at first. Get your technique down. Take it kind of slow. Get that point where you're pulling back. Right. Get everything right. Relax. 
speed will come. Speed will be just focus on your, your fine points, making them a good strike. And worry about speed later. We'll be going over some more speed exercises later. Different things you can do to help with your speed, accuracy, things like that. And you can work on your footwork with this. Uh, just like neutral bow, we went over that. Another video, just like I said, the step drag we went over. Step drag, and use that with your jab. What you want, you want this jab to hit right before this front foot hits. That way all of your body force is into this, all your way. Here. Escape. It's not how hard you hit, it's how you hit. And that's what we're learning here, how to hit to make it the most effective that it can be. You can always keep good firm footwork. <clears throat> if you do have to move in, step right. I hope this helps you out in your path. Practice, practice, practice. That's how you get good. And be sure to like the video. Send me a comment. Uh, anything you'd like to see in the future. And of course, subscribe. Need to get those subscribers built up. Until next time, keep training hard. <coughs> Do that again. Until next time, no, one more time. Until next time, keep training hard.